what you're going to be seeing in here today is uh, the inspirational art, costumes, props, or with everything original that was used on the movie set. Um, it's Tim Burton's kind of vision, his inspiration behind what he thought Alice in Wonderland to be. It's coming out uh, in March, so if I can get somebody to come open the doors, we can fall down the rabbit hole into Wonderland and go see Alice's amazing adventure. <laughs> You're now in the Hall of Doors where Alice, is, Alice first comes into when she falls down the hole. In here you will see all the little eat me cakes and the drink me bottles at different sizes depending on when she's big or little that all have an effect on her size. We have the oraculum which depicts the past, present, and future of all the events that happened in Wonderland. The original wig worn by Mia Wasikowski, the actress who plays Alice in the film. The picture of her right here. And the dress that she wears, that's original costume, designed by Pauline Atwood, that does a lot of Tim Burton's films. The costume design. Take a look in here to a scale down size of the Hall of Doors, which you're standing in, what's been trying to recreate here. All the detail of the chandelier and the floor and all the doors and the curtains. Kind of something compared to what you, you will see in the film. Behind you is a little miniature door that is shown with like two foot tall Alice walks through into Wonderland after drinking one of the bottles. This is the actual costume worn by him during filming of the movie. This is a big portrait of him as the Mad Hatter. Cool little special characteristic about the Mad Hatter's suit. It tell it can tell of his moods. If he's happy, his bow tie goes up. And if he's sad, his bow tie is down. Showing the fluctuating moods that uh, the Mad Hatter has all the way through. He seems to be very temperamental. Again, this is the original hat and costume worn by Johnny Depp in the film. Notice on the back of each chair, it designates who sits in each spot, the different characters. Alice at the front, the Mad Hatter, of course, in the big chair, the Cheshire Cat, the Dormouse. There's the inspirational art. On the left, you see Tweedledee and Tweedledum, along with Alice. <laughs> really? All original props, let me remind you. Behind you is the Mushroom Forest, the scene of the Mushroom Forest depicting her adventure through Wonderland. Also the gates into the forest and the topiary gardens with the faces that move if you look carefully. Man, there was a move, you see it? It will be very interesting to see what other cool stuff Tim Burton puts into the film. Crazy. The original orange wig worn by the Mad Hatter. And those are all the actual props. You know, yes, yeah, a lot of them are. We, right. We, you know, we got some of them from, but a lot of them are the original props. Which are exactly like the movie. You see a little bit in the preview. It's also playing in here. We go into the next room. 
but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. We actually have the original costumes and stuff worn by the uh, by the actors and actresses. I guess they did the panel for you guys here yesterday for the panel. But Tim Burton actually showed to the costume. I guess I heard that he hasn't showed up at the Comic Con or done an appearance in like 30 years or something like that. Oh, John Johnny Depp showed up? He, he actually went five seconds. He, <laughs> oh, we're kind of a little high in the yeah, yeah. <laughs> He basically just introduced Burton. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, the designer of the costume, Colleen Atwood, I guess does a lot of uh, the costumes for Tim Burton's films. And she got an Oscar for uh, House of Flying Daggers, I think. She designed the costume wow. for that, too. Oh, yeah. Take a look at everything in between the hearts and everything's heart shaped. Even, yeah, even the door. Yep. Okay, you guys can follow me into the Red Queen's court. Or the Heartless Queen, as she's called in the film. <laughs> Each lock of her hair is heart shaped, Julie. Each little tiny lock is heart shaped. This is the Red Queen's court. All original costume wear again. You pay special close attention to the detail in all of her, her costume, her hats. Everything is hearts, even the chain links on the chains. All hearts, original wig with a crown with hearts on it. Play, the queen is played by Helena Bonham Carter. She's been in a few other very popular films. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad you enjoyed it.